Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Google I.O. We have been applying AI to make our products radically more helpful for a while. The pace of AI innovation over the past year has been astounding. Now let's talk about what that innovation means for Pixel. Which We're completely upgrading everything you love about our A-series with the gorgeous new Pixel 7a. Pixel 7a is powered by our flagship Google Tensor G2 chip, and it's paired with eight gigabytes of RAM, which ensures Pixel 7a delivers best-in-class performance and intelligence. And you're gonna love the camera. The 7a takes the crown from 6a as the highest rated camera in its class, with the biggest upgrade ever to our A-series camera hardware, including a 72% bigger main camera sensor. Pixel 7a is available today, starting at 499. It's an, un it's an unbeatable combination of design, performance, and photography, all at a great value. And you can check out the entire Pixel 7a lineup on the Google Store, including our exclusive coral color. We're continuing to expand the Pixel portfolio into new form factors. Yeah. <laughs> like foldables and tablets. You can see them right there. Pixel tablet is the only tablet engineered by Google and designed specifically to be helpful in your hand and in the place they are used the most, the home. We designed the Pixel tablet to uniquely deliver helpful Pixel experiences. And that starts with great hardware. A beautiful 11 inch high resolution display with crisp audio from the four built-in speakers. A premium aluminum enclosure with a nano ceramic coating that feels great in the hand and is cool to the touch. The world's best Android experience on a tablet powered by Google Tensor G2 for a long lasting battery life and cutting edge personal AI. With Pixel Speech and Tensor G2, we have the best voice recognition, making voice typing nearly three times faster than tapping. So we engineered a first of its kind charging speaker dock. <laughs> Woo! When it's docked, the new hub mode turns Pixel tablet into a beautiful digital photo frame, a powerful smart home controller, a voice activated helper, and a shared entertainment device. Your media is going to look and sound great with room filling sound from the charging speaker dock. Pixel tablet is also the ultimate way to control your smart home. With the new home panel, any family member can quickly adjust the lights, lock the doors, or see if a package was delivered. Pixel Tablet makes switching between users super easy, so you get your own apps and your own content while maintaining your privacy. Pixel Tablet is the first tablet with Chromecast built in. I can easily cast some music or my favorite show from my phone to the tablet. We designed a new type of case for Pixel Tablet as a built-in stand, that provides continuous flexibility and is sturdy at all angles. The case easily docks, you never have to take it off to charge. It's just another example of how we can make the tablet experience even more helpful. <laughs> the new Pixel tablet comes in three colors. It is available for pre-order today and ships next month starting at just $4.99. Every Pixel tablet comes bundled with the 129 charging speaker dock for free. <laughs> Introducing Google Pixel Fold. <laughs> it combines Tensor G2, Android innovation, and AI for an incredible phone that unfolds into an incredible compact tablet. It's the only foldable engineered by Google to adapt to how you want to use it with a familiar front display that works great when it's folded. And when it's unfolded, it's our thinnest phone yet and the thinnest foldable on the market. You unfold it and you're treated to an expansive 7.6 inch display that opens flat with a custom 180 degree fluid friction hinge. We've extensively tested the hinge to be the most durable of any foldable. 
Corn and Gorilla Glass Victus protects it from exterior scratches, while the IPX8 water-resistant design safeguards against the weather. You put the camera in tabletop mode to capture the stars. And you can get closer with the best zoom on a foldable. And use the best camera on the phone for your selfies. Your Pixel Fold can use both displays. Both displays. To provide a live translation to you and the person you're talking to. So it's really easy to connect across languages. It starts the second I unfold the device with this stunning wallpaper animation. And the hinge sensor is actually driving the animation. And it's a subtle thing, but it makes the device feel so dynamic and alive. Now, the scenery is really beautiful. So I want to show you on the big screen. I just open my phone, and the video ex instantly expands into this gorgeous full screen view. I can just swipe to bring up the new Android taskbar, then drag Google Messages to the side to enter split screen mode like so. And to, to inspire my buddy, I'm going to send them a photo so I can just drag and drop from Google Photos right into my message, like so. And thanks to the new Jetpack drag and drop library, this is now supported in a wide variety of apps, from Workspace to WhatsApp. Well, here's the new split keyboard for faster typing. And if I pull down from the top, you'll notice the new two-panel shade showing both my notifications and my quick settings at the same time. Now, look what happens when I fold the device at right angles. YouTube enters what we call tabletop mode so that the video plays on the top half, and then we're working on adding playback controls to the bottom half for an awesome single-handed lean-back experience. Pixel Fold has this new button on the bottom right, so I'm going to tap this, and it means I can move the viewfinder to the outside screen. So let me turn the device around. OK, so why is this interesting? Well, it means that the viewfinder is now beside the rear camera system. And that means I can get a high quality, ultra wide, amazing selfie with the best camera on the device. You can pre order Pixel Fold starting today, and it'll ship next month. And you'll get the most out of our first ultra premium foldable by pairing it with Pixel Watch. So when you pre-order Pixel Fold, you'll also get a Pixel Watch on us. We are taking the next step in Gmail with Help Me Ride. Let's say you got this email that your flight was canceled. The airline has sent a voucher, but what you really want is a full refund. You could reply and use Help Me Ride. Just type in the prompt of what you want, an email to ask for a full refund, hit create, and a full draft appears. As you can see, it conveniently pulled in flight details from the previous email. And it looks pretty close to what you want to send. The next example is Maps. Imagine if you could see your whole trip in advance. Say I'm in New York City, and I want to go on a bike ride. And I want to get a feel for it first. Click on Immersive View for Routes, and it's an entirely new way to look at my journey. I can zoom in to get an incredible bird's eye view of the ride. And, and as we turn, we get onto a great bike path. And if I want to check traffic and weather and see how they might change over the next few hours, I can do that. Looks like it's going to pour later, so maybe I want to get going now. Immersive View for Routes will begin to roll out over the summer and launch in 15 cities by the end of the year, including London, New York, Tokyo, and San Francisco. Another product made better by AI is Google Photos. Using a combination of semantic understanding and generative AI, you can do much more with a new experience called Magic Editor. And it looks like the balloons got cut off in this one. So you can go ahead and reposition the birthday boy Magic Editor automatically recreates parts of the bench and balloons that were not captured in the original shot. As a finishing touch, you can punch up the sky. It changes the lighting in the rest of the photo so the edit feels consistent. It's truly magical. From Gmail and Photos to Maps, these are just a few examples of how AI can help you in moments that matter. 
Bard has already learned more than 20 programming languages, including C++, Go, JavaScript, Python, Kotlin, and even Google Sheets functions. I've recently been learning chess, and for fun, I thought I'd see if I can program a move in Python. How would I use Python to generate the scholar's mate move in chess? Here, Bard created a script to recreate this chess move in Python. And notice how it also formatted the code nicely, making it easy to read. And starting next week, you'll notice something right here. We're making code citations even more precise. If Bard brings in a block of code, just click this annotation, and Bard will underline the block and link to the source. And in a couple clicks, I can move this directly into Colab. We've also heard that you want dark theme, so starting today, you can activate it. <laughs> Bard will be able to tap into all kinds of services from across the web with Adobe Firefly. You'll be able to generate completely new images from your imagination right in Bard. Make an image of a unicorn and a cake at a kid's party. OK, now Bard is working with Firefly to bring what I imagined to life. Bard continues to rapidly improve and learn new abilities. And we want to let people around the world try it out and share their feedback. So today, we are removing the wait list and opening up Bard to over 180 countries and territories. Workspace was built to allow you to collaborate in real time with other people. Now you can collaborate in real time with AI. One of our most popular use cases is the trusty job description. To get started, you enter just a few words as a prompt. Senior level job description for textile designer. Docs will take that prompt, send it to our Palm 2 based model, and let's see what I got back. Not bad. With just seven words, the model came back with a good starting point written out really nicely for me. Imagine you run a dog walking business and need to keep track of things like your clients, logistics about the dogs, like what time they need to be walked, for how long, etc. Sheets can help you get organized. In a new sheet, simply type something like client and pet roster for a dog walking business with rates and hit create. Sheets sends this input to a fine-tuned model that we've been training with all sorts of Sheets-specific use cases. The model figured out what you might need. The generated table has things like the dog's name, client info, notes, etc. I am just so excited by the potential of bringing generative AI into search. When you're texting in a group chat, you shouldn't have to worry about whether everyone is using the same type of phone. <laughs> Sending high quality. <laughs> Sending high quality images and video, getting typing notifications, and end-to-end -end encryption should all just work. That's why we've worked with our partners on upgrading old SMS and MMS technology to a modern standard called RCS that, that makes all of this possible. And there are now over 800 million people with RCS. on our way to over a billion by the end of the year. We hope every mobile operating system <laughs> gets the message and adopts RCS. So we can all hang out in the group chat together, no matter what device we're using. Messages and conversations can be so much more expressive, fun, and playful with Magic Compose. So just type your message like you normally would, and then choose how you want to sound. Magic Compose will do the rest, so your messages give off more positivity, more rhymes, more professionalism. <laughs> or, or if you want, in the style of a certain playwright. To try or not to try this, quest, this feature, that is the question. Emojis are such a fun and simple way of expressing yourself, so we thought, wouldn't it be cool to bring them to your wallpaper? 
Uh, this guy and this guy, and uh, let's see, who else is in here? This one looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool, huh? So with the new cinematic wallpaper feature, you can create a stunning 3D image from any regular photo and then use it as your wallpaper. Boom, okay. Now, under the hood, we're using an on-device convolutional neural network to estimate depth and then a generative adversarial network for in-painting as the background moves. The result is a beautiful cinematic 3D photo. Cinematic wallpapers and emoji wallpapers are coming first to Pixel devices next month. Create a wallpaper with AI. And I like classic arts, so let me tap that. Now, you'll notice at the bottom, we use structured prompts to make it easier to create. So for example, I can pick, uh, what am I gonna do? City by the Bay in a uh, post-impressionist style. Cool. And I type, tap create wallpaper. Nice. Now, behind the scenes, we're using Google's text-to-image diffusion models to generate completely new and original wallpapers. And I can swipe through and see all the different options that it's created. And some of these look really cool, right? <laughs> Generative AI wallpapers will be coming this fall. We look forward to working together and building together. So on behalf of all of us at Google, thank you and enjoy the rest of I.O.